guys in this video let us see a basic example of handling security in a spring rest api for this while creating the application we need to add spring security as the dependency once you have added spring security as dependency spring framework is supposed to authenticate your application for this the framework will go and check whether you have added the configuration details like username and password in application dot properties or you are handling the authentication using in memory authentication or jdbc specific authentication or jpa specific authentication if you have not provided any of these details then spring framework is responsible for providing a password for your application the moment you run the application it will open a form which expects a username and password the username will be user and the password will be the auto generated password that is provided by spring framework only if the username and password is correct spring framework will allow you to access the rest api this auto generated password will be available in the console itself okay now let us try this basic example in spring tool suit let me open our sts let us create our application file new spring starter project let us give the application name spring security hyphen basic type is maven packaging is jar java version is 11 let me give the group id as com.greeter and also the package name is com.greeter this is a simple rest api click next we need to add the dependencies i need spring web together with that i need the security dependency select spring security downgrade the version of spring boot to 2.7.8 click finish let us create a simple controller select the package right click new class package name is com.greetapp.controllers class name is greet controller annotate this class with address controller inside this let us create a simple rest api public string greet user return have a great day annotate this with add get mapping and pass the url as slash greet that's all now let us run the application select your application right click run as spring boot app the application is getting started now here you can see in the console spring framework has generated a security password below that there is a message also this generated password is only for development purpose if you are doing it for production purpose you need to provide the authentication for this rest api either using jdbc specific authentication or jpa specific authentication or ldap authentication as of now we are learning how to provide basic security for our rest api now let me open the browser localhost colon 8080 slash the url pattern is greet the moment you give this automatically spring framework will open a login page wherein it is expecting the username and password the username is user and the password should be the auto generated password let me press enter see the url is getting changed to slash login automatically because the moment you enter your specific url spring framework is responsible for authenticating the application before showing the data so in this login page let us enter the username as user and password the auto generated one let me copy it from the console and let me add it over here and click sign in so now automatically spring framework is taking you to the specific url similar to a login page it also has a logout page you can give slash logout are you sure you want to log out we have not created it it is automatically created by spring framework click log out and again if you want to enter into your specific url spring framework will authenticate you before showing you the specific page so here also you need to give the same username and the same generated password click sign up now it is only till 8080 
provide the proper URL slash greet. Now you are getting the output. One other way of providing the username and password is using the application.properties. Select SRC main resources, application.properties. Provide the configuration details for username and password. String dot security dot user dot name. Shri string dot security dot user dot password. Now here I have got my own username and password. In this case, string framework will not generate any password in the console. Let us relaunch the application. The application is getting started. Now you can see you are not getting any auto generated password. Let me go to the browser. Localhost 8080 slash greet. Now again the URL is getting changed to slash login. Enter your own username and password. Shri 3123. Click sign. Now automatically it is routed to the greet page. So this is how you authenticate a Spring REST API using the basic Spring security. That's all. Thank you.